guys, welcome to another video. Today we're doing landscape photography and we are in London, baby. We're across the way from the London Eye. Uh, I've been here with a couple of workshop attendees because this is a workshop where we're, we're learning all kinds of bits and pieces, landscape stuff. Uh, but in the city, we can do some really funky stuff around the architecture. I do love London, London's fantastic. So we've, uh, we've been over the other side. We've walked all the way across. We've done some bits and pieces on the other side of London Bridge there, looking over towards uh, Big Ben, up there. And then we're walking down here. We're actually gonna get some long exposure stuff. So obviously the movement of the wheel is gonna play a good part in this. So the movement of the wheel is gonna play a big part. And also the clouds, the sky today is absolutely beautiful. If I point the camera up like that, you might be able to see the clouds. They're absolutely beautiful. So we might get some streaks across the sky and that's what we're after. So today's gonna to be a long day. We're here from 12 to about half past six, six, half past six, something like that. And yeah, we're just gonna get lots of pictures of uh, some really good, famous London landmarks. We're gonna head down towards, uh, we're gonna go down South Bank towards Millennium Bridge, get some stuff on Millennium Bridge, do some long exposure stuff down there. That's always a favorite. And then on to maybe Tower Bridge area and then back again later on, back down this area, because uh, uh, we're gonna be getting a train for about six, half past six, something like that. So we're gonna have a good day, come with us. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please whack a thumbs up if you do. And if you've got any questions, please leave them down in the comments and I'll see you in a bit. Take care, bye. Okay, so we are at the Millennium Bridge. This is the classic shot straight over the bridge, long exposure. We're gonna get rid of people climbing up, up down here, people going up around the sides. They're all gonna disappear. I've done the shot plenty of times. This is the image I got a few years ago. And uh, we've got Davin there having a shot at it now, about three minutes. So you need about three and a half minutes, like four minutes to just get enough of the background to bleed through and everyone kind of disappears, hopefully. If you haven't got three minutes, it's probably not gonna work. Two minutes probably is a little bit too short. Uh, but this is one of those classic shots with St Paul's in the background, everyone loves this shot. Uh, but to be fair, there's loads of shots to get from here. You've got really nice leading lines going up through the Millennium Bridge there. And on the other side, of course. So we're going to carry on and hopefully get some more shots in a bit. See in a bit. Bye. <music> over to St Paul's and here's the famous black phone box we're going to try and get hopefully a red bus go past on this side of the road so we can get the shot similar to this uh, and it's not that easy during the day to get this shot because obviously there's way 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 too much sunlight out I'm actually using a six stop on the front of my lens I'm set up for this shot of course buses on the other side of the road are going to be too far away for this we need a bus on this side of the road going that way and it's got to be timed just right Unfortunately, the buses don't come past here for like every 10 minutes or so, so we've got a bit of a wait. Uh, but I'm hopefully got a good, good composition there, similar to what I've got before. Black phone box, if you can see, is, is in the focus. And I've actually used manual focus for this, and we're just gonna try and wait for a bus. Hopefully we get one come through. It's going through fairly fast, and we get some nice trails. Let's see how we do. It's in a bit. There's actually a bus coming, number 26, and there's one behind it as well. There's two chances here, guys. So we've got number 26 coming through now. Let's see if we can't get, oh, nice, that's good. And again, that one was a bit slower. That may not have worked. Well, that worked quite well, though. You can see that on there. You even got the brake lights, nice. Okay, what an awesome day. We've got some fantastic images. I'm back at the train station now. I'm going to get back on the train. I just want to say a quick goodbye. Thanks to Marge and Davin for joining me today. I know we've got some awesome images and we went to some places that especially Davin wanted to get to, which is fantastic. I know we've got some great images. I know Marge got some good images too. 
Uh, so thanks to those and for anyone else who wants to come on this workshop. I'm going to try again, hopefully before the end of the year. So hopefully keep an eye on my website and we'll get that booked in. Uh, some fantastic locations in London. Awesome city, awesome architecture, all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so if you, uh, would, if you like this video and got anything out of it, please whack a thumbs up. If you uh, haven't done so already and want to, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a new video. Until the next one, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Hi, I'm Andy and I'm here to tell you about my new online landscape photography academy. It's not your traditional online photography course. It's also a mentorship program. Many of you most likely know me from my YouTube channel. And if you enjoy my process of getting an awesome image from the landscape around me, you can learn to do that too. So, how does it work? After signing up for the Landscape Academy, you will immediately receive access to all lectures taking you through every aspect of landscape photography. From beginner courses, through to intermediate, and on to the more advanced photographic techniques. At the end of each lecture, you'll be provided an assessment to progress you through the steps of creating an appealing image from beginning to end. After submitting each assignment, you will receive a handcrafted personal feedback video on your progress giving you actionable steps to take your work to the next level. These mentorship sessions continue as you build your skill set from beginner to advanced landscape photography. By the time you finish the course, you will have hours of personal video feedback crafted especially for you. Additionally, the entire Landscape Academy is self-paced and you have a lifetime access to all of the content. So there's no need to worry about deadlines or losing access to the content after an arbitrary amount of time. You may want to skip the beginner one course if you have a basic understanding of photography and a good grasp of camera settings. But if you're an absolute beginner, fear not, this course is designed to get you started from scratch. If you want to sign up and get more information, just click the link below or check out the Academy link on my website.